Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial. Today, we are going to create Winter Snowfall Slideshow, like this. So let's get started. First open After Effect, and create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called the main comp. Then drag Whitewood texture image into the timeline. Resize it according to the composition. Now apply the curves effect. And make your curves like this, to make a little more detailing. Select wood texture image, right click and pre-compose them, is called background composition. Now create another new composition. Width around 540 pixel. And height around 1000 pixels, it's called leaf. Here we have footage folder, open it, and drag center leaf image into the timeline. Resize it according to the composition. Then apply tritone effect. Change midtones with white color. And also change the shadow color with little bit gray color. Now duplicate the tritone effect. This time change shadow color white and mid-tones little grey. Now create new composition it's called leaf branch. Change the width and height around 2000 pixel. Drag leaf composition into the timeline. Move leaf bottom of the composition and resize it little bit and move anchor point bottom of the leaf like this now we need to animate this leaf so go to the one second forward and add a keyframe on the scale then go to the first frame and change the scale value 0% select both keyframes and easy ease them and make your graph like this You can adjust the keyframe according to your choice. Now duplicate the leaf comma layer and rotate like this. Then again duplicate the leaf com layer and rotate the opposite side. And you can also resize scale value. And adjust the leaves according to your choice. And you can also adjust the layers offset, so it looks more natural. You can duplicate these leaves anytime and adjust according to your choice. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After adjust all leaves it's look like this. Now we have more elements into our footage folder, drag this red flower image into the timeline. And resize it a little bit. And also move anchor point bottom of the flower. Then move red flower layer middle of the leaves layers. By the way, you can find this footage folder link in description. Now go to around 1 second forward and hit S for scale, and add a keyframe. Then go to few frames back and change scale value 
select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. I think we should move red flower layer top of all leaves layers. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we have a white Christmas ball image. Drag this image into the timeline. Resize the Christmas ball, and also move the anchor point top of the Christmas ball. And move Christmas ball anywhere you want. Do the same animation, as we had already done with our red flower image. So that's why I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Perfect. Now go to project window and duplicate the leaf branch comp. Then open leaf branch to comp. Then move the red flower image bottom of the leaf layers. And also you can move white Christmas ball anywhere. So it's create little differentiation for our both leaf composition. Perfect. Now create one more new composition. Thousand by thousand pixel. It's called branch animation. Now drag the first leaf branch comp into the timeline. And resize it little bit. and also rotate it. Then drag second leaf branch comp into the timeline, and move the top left corner. Then duplicate the second branch comp and move the opposite site. Then duplicate the first leaf comp and move opposite site like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to the main composition, and drag branch animation comp into the timeline. Convert the branch animation comp into 3D comp, and go to 2 view horizontal view and move branch animation lay a little far from the camera and increase the scale size now duplicate the branch animation comp layer and move this little closer to the camera and resize it and rotate it Now duplicate branch animation comp one more time, and move a little closer to the camera. And resize it, and also rotate the branch layer. So that it's cover our comp perfectly. Now duplicate the branch animation layer one more time, and again resize it, and rotate it. Now search drop shadow effect. 
change softness around 150 and opacity around 30 percent then copy this effect and paste on all branch layers now you can adjust the offset of branch layers so it looks more natural You can also apply the fast blur effect on top layer, so it's look like camera blur effect. Perfect. Now go to project window and drag snowflake footage into timeline. Then drag snow particle footage into timeline. and change mode normal to add then drag star particle footage into timeline and also change that mode normal to add now create one more new composition this is called photo frame 1 and change the width and height according to your choice Then double click on the rectangle tool to make a perfect rectangle and stroke around 50 pixel. Now drag your footage into timeline. Resize if required. Now go to again main composition and drag photo 1 com. Blow the branch animation layer. Resize it according to your choice. Also convert into 3D layer. And change the Z position little far from the camera. And also rotate the orientation. Then search drop shadow effect. Change the softness around 80 and also change the opacity around 80%. Now again creative one more full HD composition. This is our matte transition comp. Then create a new solid white layer. Then duplicate the solid layer, and double click on the ellipse tool to make a perfect ellipse. And change the bottom layers track matte alpha matte. Select the top layer and apply turbulent displace effect. Change amount 300. Size around 80. And complexity 6. Then apply rough and edges effect. Change border around 15. Edge sharpness around 2 and complexity around 10. Now open mask properties and go to 1 second forward and change the mask expansion until it's covered our full composition and add a keyframe then go to the first frame and change the mask expansion minus 575 so it's fully disappear Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And change your graph like this. You can also move keyframe and change the graph editor anytime. If you think your animation looks so fast or slow. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to project window and drag matte transition into the timeline above the photo frame 1 comp layer. Change photo frame 1 layers track matte alpha matte, and move both photo frame and matte transition layer few frame forward. And also convert matte transition layer into 3D layer. 
Also convert these three layers into the 3D layer. Now we need to animate this, so create a new camera, I am using 50mm preset camera. Then go to around 2 second forward. And add a keyframe on position and Z rotation. Then go to first frame, and change the Z position minus 1000. And also change the Z rotation 40 degrees. Select all keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Then go to few seconds forward and add a keyframe. And change the Z position a little bit. Then again go to few frame forward and change the Z position far from the camera. You can adjust this keyframe according to your choice. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After complete keyframe it look like this. Perfect. Now create an adjustment layer. This is our color correction layer. Then search curves effect, and just change the curves little bit like this. Then drag light leak footage into the timer line. And change mode normal to screen. Change the opacity around 30%, and you can change the opacity as you like. Our first slide has complete. Select all layers and pre-compose them. It's called scene 1. Now if you need more slide, so go to project window and duplicate scene 1 comp. Then drag scene 2 comp into the timer line, and move where our scene 1 animation has stopped. Select scene 2 layer and hit T for opacity, and change opacity 0%. Then go to few frame forward and change opacity 100%. Open scene 2 comp. Now we need to change photo frame 1 comp, so go to project window, and duplicate the photo frame 1 comp. Then hold out and drag photo frame 2 comp over the photo frame 1 comp. Open photo frame to comp layer and change your image. Here you can see our image has changed. Our animation has done, hit zero for render. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.